Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this yet further information and news and reveals coming out of TFCon Toronto, for those of you who just jumped on board, this is video number four. So there's three others, I've broken them down into bite-sized videos so you haven't got to listen to me go on for like half an hour plus what I've done and you can pick up of course the companies that you want to look at. Uh, for those again who've just jumped on board, this is all of the things coming out from TFCon Toronto being revealed by third party companies. So this is Studio Zero What Zero One. They of course did um the Unicron not so long ago. This is of course the follow-up to that. This is Studios One Seed, which is of course Primus. This guy again looks spectacular. The Unicron figure I've seen in person. Uh, I was lucky enough to get the Haslab one. Um, but the you know it's really split the fandom. There's loads of people who said that the Studio One version was better, and I appreciate why they saw why they said that. It did look really good. Um, this is their take on Primus, and I'm sure you'd agree, it looks great. If you want to see this without the reflection, head to TFW 2005 or indeed T Formers. There's him in robot mode. Um, from the back doesn't look to have too much kibble either which is great of course considering he's going to be a huge shell former and a massive planet there doesn't look to be too much there at all so that's really impressive looking um staying with him just for a few more images and indeed the same company because as i mentioned in one of the videos here you go work in progress it looks now that they're going to take their or dip their hand in doing constructor cons shall we so this is of course their take on scavenger it says work in progress this will be interesting because as far as I'm aware, pardon me, these are going to be masterpiece scale sized figures. So again, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm obviously, if I get things wrong, please just let me know in the comments. But it looks like obviously we've got another version of Devastator coming up. Um, and if these figures are anything like what they did with the Unicron with the detail and how good they looked, then I'm very, very excited to see these. These are just computer images, obviously the ones at the bottom that are just blocks. These are figures that I haven't got around to um, doing or rendering fully yet. However, as I say, exciting times. Another uh, player in the third party masterpiece, Devastator, by the looks of it. There's too much choice. I think Devastator's got to be as possible probably as popular as you know optimus prime especially for third party companies right moving on to metagate this is an absolute no-brainer this is blackfire so for those of you who missed the actual proper optimus prime deco this is a new wow we're really apologizing for the glare there this is a third party legends scale version of a movie figure which again is really interesting um, I think they were the first ones to do it. Lucky Cat jumped on board just afterwards. So yeah, so this is a figure that's about 10 centimetres tall when he's in robot mode. They've already released Optimus Prime, so it was a no-brainer for them to do exactly what we've done here. Redeco it, and now we've got, of course, a Nemesis Prime. Sticking with the same company, this is interesting. They've gone and used their Drift Mold. And I hate it when they put black backgrounds purely because it makes my videos poor. So I'm really sorry for this. Um, they've gone and decoed him to bludgeon and that just works there's something about that color scheme with bludgeon and of course the twin swords like drift always had just a great great looking figure this is so this is again by metagate um and what a use of a mold with it with obviously a slight change making him look like that i'm sure you'll agree he looks amazing so i'm going to keep my eye on that one as well and funnily enough lucky cat who i literally just mentioned before we get to bumblebee yet again someone else is going to do a devastator this is really interesting though because they come in these little cubes um, and of course they can transform into cubes they can transform into robots they can transform into alternate vehicles of course slightly different from the mainline ones but that's mainly because of the other alternate modes and they will combine to make their own version of devastator so these are really interesting to me as well i need to know the exact sizes first and as soon as i find them out i'll let you know but judging by all the other figures i think they're going to be quite small this is the bumblebee in question this is 6.8 centimeters so not even seven centimeters just over two and a half inches this is lucky cat's legend scale bumblebee uh, figure from the bumblebee movie this is fully transformable fully articulate i've got this guy pre-ordered on show z already because it just really intrigues me and i want to see him he's got loads of little accessories as well like face plates and hands and blades um and again figures like this big like the dr Wu, that are so articulate and so detailed i just think are really interesting um magic square a little bit tough but i don't know why there's been no magic square reveal so far to be honest there's all the parts with him and then moving on just quickly to see him in his alternate mode and then i believe there's one more company 
this one here. And I've never heard of this one, to be honest. This is Li Zhang by Jing. Hopefully I've got that right. This is their take on an Optimus Primal. But whether or not, I can't work out if it's like a nemesis version of him because they're just calling it Li Zhang Toys Gorilla. It's big. It's 20, 23 centimetres, nine, just over nine inches. And it's metal. It's got alloy chest and knees and it's being released in July. So this is really interesting. It looks great. It's obviously Optimus Primal, but as I say, is it a Nemesis version? Again, let me know in the comments, guys. I'd love to know if I'm wrong or any, get a bit more information about this figure. So it is transformable. It does have a robot mode. He is fully poseable. He does look great. And there is the alternate mode. Maybe it's not Nemesis because he hasn't got red eyes in this mode. Um, I don't know. As I say, I just wanted to share this with you. I think it looks good. It's interesting, once again, to see other takes um, of but well, people's opinions on figures that we know um, and love. And again, it's great to see all these other things out there because I think that it helps companies because they all can see what everybody's releasing. So they can definitely have a look and think, right, we'll take something from that, we'll take something from that and make, of course, the best and I suppose most... What's the word I'm after? They can make the best version of a figure. Uh, but there you go. This is pretty much brought that to a close. Once again, all third-party figures and, of course, Masterpiece Originals and other Takaras are available from Show Z. Don't forget to use my co code on it, please. It really does help this channel out. Toys R Us. And that concludes number four, part four of the updates from Sandy. Not San Diego Comic Con. That's next weekend. From to TFCon Toronto. Let me know in the comments which, which figures are sticking out um, in your eyes the most. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.